Hey, it's Annie. I'm back and ready to party down to the river. Yeah. Okay, no, I haven't been drinking. I'm gonna shine today. I live in Illinois and it's winter and the sun is shining, so I'm very happy. I'm happy. If you know me, you know I'm freaking happy right now. I'm like, where the hell have you been? Well, I hit was off on, you know, enjoying time with my family over Christmas break. Um, we didn't do anything, but I was spending time with them and I filmed some videos ahead of time and um, they didn't turn out. They didn't turn out, so I couldn't share them with you. So then I re-recorded them again. My husband took my daughter to see Star Wars. I'm not a Star Wars fan. Sorry, no haters, okay? Just, I'm not a fan. Um, so he took her to see the new Star Wars movie, so I'm like, I'll record some videos. I recorded three of them, and none of them turned out. And I did it the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and none of them turned out again. So I took a break, and then I re-recorded them and had problems. I think it's... Well, first off, I'm trying to learn the lighting and everything in this room with my new camera, trying to figure it all out. Um, and I needed a new video software. I bought a new one, fingers crossed, that this video is gonna be good, okay? Um, I just don't wanna put out crappy videos. I was doing that already with my other camera. That's why I bought a new camera. I wanna give you better quality when you're watching my videos. So. So I'm working on it, okay guys? So please be patient. My plan is to every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday to have a new video. That's my plan, okay? Um, and that's what I plan on doing, but I just had some technical difficulties. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to talk about today is what I got for Christmas. I bought three eye pallets that, you know, Santa put under the tree, and I got a new bag. No judging. I'll tell you why I got a new bag. I know you're probably like, girl, you just got two bags. I know, I know, but you'll see why I got this bag and you're gonna like it. Um, so yeah, I got three new eye palettes. So let me review each one for you now. Well, the first palette that I got, I was at Kohl's. Oh darn, I don't have the thing in front of me, that's okay. Um, the first palette that I bought was is from Lorac. Now I've never ever purchased anything from Lorac before. I don't know why, I just haven't. Um, and so I decided to try one of their eye palettes because I've heard so many good things about their eye palettes. So I bought the Lorac Pro 3. Let's see if my camera will focus in on that. And I want you to see the packaging. Okay, so you can see the packaging. You see how light it is. You can see how it's marked up, kind of getting dirty. And I'm going to flip it around that way just so you can see um, the back side of it and what the packaging looks like. The reason I'm showing you this is because this is one of the things I don't like about it. I don't like the packaging. It's very light in color and it's getting all dirty looking already and I, it's very recent that I bought it. So, but the colors are gorgeous. I love, 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 love the colors. They're so beautiful. I love how I love colors like this because they're, I call them neutral colors. They're like neutral, not neutral. How about what I say neutral colors or what I say um, earthy, that's a better word, earthy tones. I find them to be more earthy tones, not all of them, I mean there's shimmers in it, but there's still the basic part is like like a brownish color or whatever. The only ones that are really earthy is this uh, purpley color. Please don't judge my nails, I have to polish my nails later, okay? Um, but I love this and obviously, you know, gray and, and black. But. I love the, the colors of this palette and these are colors I love to wear. I don't do any crazy colors anymore, you know, I did that when I was in high school. I'm not in high school anymore so I don't like to do really crazy colors, but I love these. They're just really, really, really pretty colors. It comes with a mirror, which I'm going to be honest is useless for me because I wear reading glasses to see, so unless I hold the palette far away, I can't really see what I'm doing, just being real with you. Um, but for most people, I guess that's a bonus. But I just, um, I love the colors. They're very highly pigmented. They blend like butter. Um, I love all, like the combination of colors. You can do so many looks with these. I think there's like, so you want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 16 colors? <coughs> Let me count. 16, yes, there's 16 colors. Um, I'm wearing a lot of colors of this. I'm we're actually wearing colors from every single palette today that I'm gonna talk about. So I do have colors that I'm wearing from this today. I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing that color, that color, that color, 
than that color. So I'm wearing like four colors from here. Love this palette. But like I said, the only thing I don't like is it's very messy. It's very messy. So when you're using these colors, make sure you tap off your brush. And even then, even when you tap off your brush, sometimes you can get some fallout on your you know, face. So sometimes what I do, I'll do my eye makeup first and then I do my foundation everything you can do put your makeup on that that way as well I can do a look for you too I'll have to do I'll do a look like an everyday makeup look because I've been wanting to do that and I'll use this palette but I love love this look I mean this look you can dress it up you can dress it down love this palette and it comes with a little um, primer eye primer I didn't wear it today but I really do like the primer as well I'm gonna wear it a little bit more I'll give you my for sure final thought on that um, but um, yeah, I love this. I love this palette. I think it's like $43. I don't know. I'll let you know in the I'll let you know in the description or comments or whatever notes below. So the other palette that I got, I was looking, I think Sephora had like some special coupon code or something. They sent me that I got like 20% off or 30 or something like that. So I'm like, hmm, what could I use it on? Um, is that what it was? I know I had some kind of discount that I had that I had to use it by, by a certain time. So I thought, I'm going to get a new eye palette. So this was... Um, this was the first eye palette actually I bought. So it came in this box here. It's, I, I hope I pronounce this right. Siate London by Chloe Morello. And it's the beauty haul. I don't know if you can see that. So it comes in this box here. Um, and what you get is you get an eye palette. You get a lippy, like a liquid lipstick. It's kind of like a, it's not a color for me. I'm going to give this to my daughter. It's a little too dark for me. I, I like to use like earthy tones. This is like too red for me. And then you get this cute little makeup bag, which I really, really like. So all of this, I can't remember what the original price is. I'll put it below, but I think I paid $35 for, oh, and a mascara. You get a little ma mascara, which I can't use because I can only use waterproof. Um, but you got all this in this kit and I think everything ended up being like, I don't know, like $7 each or something like that. It was like really cheap. And I thought, because I had the coupon, it was on sale, I had free shipping, I'm like, well, that's just, that's just super cheap, so I'll give it a try. So these are, here's the palette again. I'm going to open this up. It's kind of magnetic, which is nice. So this is the palette here. It has this cute little mirror here, which again is nice, but does mean no good. And these are the colors there. I really love the colors. Um, I've used, I, what do I have? I only, I'm only wearing two of the colors today. The colors I have a little bit of problem working with are these frosted colors here. Um, they seem like they're a little bit hard to blend. And I didn't really like these colors down here as far as blending, but the other colors I really, really do like. I think they're really, really pretty. I think they're um, highly pigmented. I think they're blendable. I personally like them. This is one of those, but you'll find this on any palette, honestly. This is one of the palettes that I've seen some people, and I, she's a YouTuber. I don't watch her. I don't watch her channel, but I know she's a YouTuber. I found that out after I bought this. Um, this is one of those, well, let's just be real. If you look up any makeup, okay, just like go to Ulta or Sephora or whatever, and you look up makeup reviews, there's nothing. I've never found anything that has like five stars, okay? Unless it's on that company site, and then sometimes I don't even know if that's real, you know what I mean? Um, so you're always going to have mixed reviews of what people like or what they don't like. I'm just sharing my review too. I'm telling you what I like and what I don't like about it. It's my honest opinion. It has nothing to do with um, the company or the brand or anything. Whenever I share a review, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I really do love this palette for what I paid for it. I think it was a, a good deal for what I paid for it. Because like I said, I got so much with it. I thought it was a good price. And I like the colors. I really love, and I always go for these colors. I don't, I don't wear the purples as much. Um, and I'll work with them again, but I just found that I had a hard time working with the purple colors. Those three, those three colors below and then these colors. I just had a hard time working with them. I don't know. I'll, I'll still play with it, but that's just my honest opinion. But all these other earthy tones in here, love them, love them. And I'm wearing them today. It's see, like I said, I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing two. I'm wearing these two colors right here today. So I really mix it up. I try to use a lot of different colors on my palette just so you can kind of see. But I can do an eye look with this as well. But I, I do like this. I, it's not, if this is one of those palettes so that I don't think I can just use the colors and I probably would have to use a couple of colors, you know, a couple of different palettes with this. Um, but I do that with a lot of palettes anyways. I don't always use one palette to do my whole eye look. I'm just, 
keeping it real. Now this is another eye palette that I got and this one I remember the price for sure because it was like just under $15 and it was right by the front register when I was checking out at Ulta. And this one's from Carly Bible from it's from BH Cosmetics and she's another YouTuber again I don't watch her channel she's a lot younger than me I mean I do watch some of the younger bloggers but are youtubers but not not really I don't I don't know but I, I, I did never heard of her before so um, sorry I'm just being honest with you but I'm 50 so why would I know who she is like you know what I mean um, so this palette is he has a lot of golden shimmers okay so what attracted me to this is I thought oh those could be good colors that I could just kind of wear with other colors I don't think this is a palette well I know it isn't it's not a palette I would just go for because most of them are all like shimmery colors let me see in here I think they are all shimmery colors pretty much aren't they I don't think there's any matte no there's a like are there two three four there's four matte there's four matte colors in here but I really I liked it for the shimmer colors and I love the gold that I put on my eyes today. You can see it. So I think that they're really, really pretty colors. I think they're blendable. I think as far as pigmentation, I'd say it's about a medium. I don't think they're highly pigmented. Uh, I think they blend really well. I have not messed with these very much yet. I need to, to play around with those. And you know what I mean? Um, I, I, I bought it just for the shimmers, not so much for these. So these would be more, I believe these are supposed to be like highlighters that you can use on your face. So, um, and I don't know, I can finger swatch it, but finger swatching and putting it on your skin is totally different. So I, I'll see if I can do like a look and show you and you can't even see in my camera anyway. So see, lighting issues. Um, the one thing I really don't like about this palette is it has a chemical smell. I don't know how to describe the smell, but it has a, it seems like it's going away a little bit, but when it was all like sealed up and I opened it up, it was very strong. It almost smelled like a new book. But, so I thought maybe it was just the packaging, but when you smell the eyeshadows, you could smell it on the eyeshadow. So I don't think it's the packaging. So I just wanted you to be aware, with, aware of it. But like I said, this was like 14 bucks. So I figured for 14 bucks, even if I only use a couple colors, I mean, I just bought an eye color that I'll talk about soon from Walgreens. It was like a little color, I think it was 10 bucks. So I don't think that this is expensive. And I think that even if I use a couple colors, I'll be happy because it wasn't, you know, really expensive. So that's the other eye palette that I got. So like I said, my favorite out of all those is a Lorac. Um, I love that one, the best out of all of them. All right, so I said that I got another bag. Yeah, I did get another bag. Okay, so my husband told me before, I feel like I've told the story so many times to you, but you haven't heard it because my thing hasn't been recording right. Um, my pings are driving me crazy. I hate when they split like that. Looks like I have fake hair. I don't like that. All right, so uh, my husband informed me before Christmas that we were gonna do some traveling this year because we're gonna start scouting out an area to relocate. Yes! <gasps> Ah, yes, we are. Some are warmer, some are sunny, some are with palm trees. Florida. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. And my daughter is also going to be applying to many colleges in Florida as well. So I wanted to bring, I wanted to get a backpack. I like to, I like to, um, when we travel, I like to have a backpack because we're going to Disney too. And I like to have a backpack because it's just more comfortable for me to carry around instead of a purse all day, you know? Um, but, oh my gosh, these are driving me nuts. I'm sorry, guys, but this, I know it's probably annoying people play with their hair, but it's driving me nuts. She has to cut it differently. I don't know. It's making me crazy. So anyway, um, so I like to have a backpack. The problem with a backpack is that after a while, when it's like on my shoulders, it starts to get uncomfortable and hurt. So then you end up like here on one side or the other, you know, kind of thing, or you're holding it and it's just not good. Um, so I also wanted to look for a backpack that didn't really look like a backpack, you know, because they're that stationary look that they have, you know, shape. I just want something kind of like a designer. So I searched like designer backpack and the first thing that came up was Henry Bendel. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I know you're going to be like, you're full of baloney. I don't believe you, but I'm keeping it real. I do. If you know me, you know, I'm an honest person. Um, I didn't know who Henry Bendel was. 
I didn't. I did not know. But I like his uh, his jet setter convertible backpack. And so that's what this is. This is a jet setter convertible backpack by Henry Bendel. I loves it. Okay, because it's not just a backpack. Doesn't look like a backpack, does it? No, because it's a handbag and it's a backpack. Oh, messenger bag and it's a backpack. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a minute, okay? So, okay, before I show you the whole thing here, I'm going to show you something else, okay? Oh, by the way, it comes with this little dust cover. Do you use these do you use dust covers for your bags? Because I don't. I put them in my closet and I just think how dusty is my closet going to get? So I don't know. I don't use those dust bags. So anyway, so I knew I wanted to use this uh, camera, uh, this bag as a camera bag as well. So I thought to myself, self, um, I wonder if they make like inserts for a bag that would, you know, would protect my camera like you would see in a camera bag, you know, and they do. Yeah, they do, girl. They do. So I found one on Etsy. There's several, but I'll, I'll link the one that I found because I really, really love the quality of her. So I'm going to take it out of my bag. Well, here, let me show you it in the bag. That would be a good idea. So right now it's inside my bag. Okay, my camera's in there and I have my two lenses. Okay, so let me take it out and show you that first. So I'm going to be able to use this bag as a camera bag. So a backpack, a messenger bag, a handbag, and a camera bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's going to be days I'm not going to want to bring my bag with my camera. You know what I mean? That's my, my camera. So I can take it out. So it just comes out. It's got these little tabs on here. and It makes it easy to pull out. You saw how easy it was. It's got beautiful, beautiful, nice quality canvas material. You can pick the color too. She has several to choose from. It's nice and padded. And there you go. So now I can, I can use this as a camera bag. So here is my Henry Bendel bag. So this is again what it looks like. It's got these two little zippers on the side. Um, before I show you, this is like a nylon material. This is all leather on the outside, okay? And this is just like decorative block. It doesn't really work. And this is just, you know, the little label there, Henry Bendel. You can get your little initials on it. I did not, because I don't need to do that. You know what I mean? I know it's my bag, you know what I mean? Um, so then you unzip this and you can put in your phone and I could put in my glasses. I can put in a little lip liner thing or whatever, lipsticky, and it all fits in there, okay? So it's a nice little side pocket there and you have one on each side. Then if you don't want to put your phone there, you can put it right here because you've got a little slot right there. Look at that, huh? Uh-huh. See, girl? That's good. It's good. Okay, so I just dropped my glasses. All right, I'm going to watch my camera. All right, so let's look on the inside. The inside's got this pretty, and so it does on the side too. It's lined with this pretty purplish blue fabric, satiny fabric, really nice quality, not cheap. Um, and it's got this little zipper pocket with the cute little bow there and another little deep pocket there. There's no closure there. And then we've got another little pocket right there, which, you know, you can put your glasses in there or you can put your phone in there. It's just going to stick out a little bit. See right there or sunglasses or keys, whatever. So that's it. And there's no, there's no pockets or anything on this side, but you have plenty of storage. Now this is the regular size. I do have a mini. It comes in lots of different colors. They have some patterns, I believe, and they might even be coming out with more. I haven't been on their website lately. They do have a really cute one, girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's like, looks like a denim fabric, and it's a white and blue stripe, girl. Mm, I like that one. That's a good one. Okay, so let me show you. I want to show you what it looks like on me because I think, let me back up the camera. Um, hopefully you can see. My head's cut off. That's how it goes. Okay, I just want you to see what it looks like on me so you can get a better idea and you can see my ugly slippers that I'm wearing. All right, so this is what it would look like if I'm just, you know, walking around with my little bag. I'm 5'6", 120, so you get an idea of, you know, my build so you know, you know, what it would possibly look like on you. And then we have this strap. And so I can wear it as a messenger bag. Hello. So that's nice too. So I don't have to carry it one way. I've got another way. And I'm going to show you how to wear it as a backpack. So 
me show you really quick. I've done this so many times I could probably do this blindfolded because I've had to re-record this video. So we have these little like hoops right here. All you have to do is unhook it. Super easy to do. Look at that. Unhook it. Okay. And we've got this loop here and this loop here. So, and we've got the strap. So we just have to unsnap the strap. Okay. Like that. Then we are going to take this through the hoop and then snap it. Look at this. Okay. How easy is that? And it's a nice heavy snap. It's hard to snap, which is good because I feel like it's not going to just fall if I've got my camera in or something like that. Like it's, it's sturdy, you know, it's not going anywhere. So then I'm going to take this other strap and I'm going to do the same thing. Just put it through that little hoop there. Okay. And then take my snap here and put it through there. And that's that. And now I'm going to show you what the backpack looks like. Now you can adjust this too, okay? And there, oops, and there you go, and there you go. I'm walking in Disney, I'm doing, and now the thing is unzipped too, so keep that in mind there, it's unzipped, so it won't be flapping around like that. Here, I'll show you again with it. I'll close it up, I'll show it again. There you go, see? Adorable, I love it, now you know why I bought it. So, this is gonna come in so handy when we are traveling. And I had to show you. So I cannot buy any more bags. My husband isn't saying that, I'm saying that, I can't. I bought one for my 50th. I bought one for um, before Christmas, although that one wasn't that expensive. Now this one, I will tell you the price. This one was 278, I know. I know you're like, $278? But this is what I feel like. I feel like I've got three bags, or maybe some people are like, that's nothing. Um, but if you know me, I'm really thrifty. But I feel like I got three bags, four with the camera bag, I'm just saying. And um, it was on sale too. So it was 30% off, I had free shipping. So it was just under $200. So I think that's really, really good in my opinion. And the, the insert I think was 45. I can't remember. I'll let you know though. I'll, I'll leave all the information for you below on that. Eye palettes, on the bag, on that, and everything I'll let you know. So that's it guys. That's all I had to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, and I really, really hope that you did, please make sure you give this a big, big thumbs up. Share it with your friends, especially if they're looking for a bag. Because seriously, if you are in the market for a bag, especially if you like to travel, this is such a good, good bag. I mean, this isn't sponsored. I paid with all, this is all I paid for all this, okay? If I ever do a sponsor post, you know, you know I'm keeping it real and I will tell you if I, you know, if I'm working with a company or something, I'm gonna tell you. I'm still gonna give you my honest opinion, but I'm gonna tell you. Paid for all this myself. Totally think this was worth the money. They have sales all the time, so wait for them to have a sale. Just wait, just wait. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. You need to have this in your collection of bags or whatever you need to because you will use this a ton. I cannot wait to use this. And I don't have to wait to use it like now. I probably could use it now. It's just that I just bought another purse. If I didn't buy that purse, I'd be using this now because I could use it. I'm gonna use it all the time. It's not that fancy, you know what I mean? I could I could do it, but um, I love it. So I hope that it was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. I always enjoy our time together. I apologize again for being absent, but I wanna try to work on my video qualities, hopefully this one turned out. I uh, just wanna to try to bring you guys the best quality as I can, so I'm working on things. And I have so much to share with you that I can't wait. Oh, I have one big, big question to ask you. One big question to ask you. Um, would you rather me have just a separate like beauty channel and then have a channel for DIY. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you would rather me have like a beauty channel and then and then have my DIY. I've been kind of mixing it up on here, but I'm just wondering if you would prefer, like if you are just here just for my makeup stuff, if you would rather just watch that and you don't care about paint, or if you care about paint and you don't care about the makeup, let me know in the comments. And um, I'm thinking about making another channel, having two channels. And also, if you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Just be polite, please. Think before you type, okay? I'm a human being, I have feelings. 
Um, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, if you're subscribing again, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not, just please click on that subscribe button. And it's, there's also an icon on my little video there, in the icon or a photo or whatever. You can subscribe on that. And you can follow me, of course, on my blog, White Lace Cottage, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And that's it, guys. I'll see you. See you next time. Love you. Bye. I think Sephora had like some special coupon code or something that they sent me that I got like 20% off or 30 or something like that. So I'm like, hmm, what could I use it on? Um, is that what it was? I know I had some kind of a discount that I had that I had to use it by, by a certain time. So I thought, I'm going to get a new eye palette. So this was, um, this was the first eye palette actually I bought. So it came in this box here. It's, I, I hope I pronounced this right. Siate London by Chloe Morello, and it's the beauty haul. I don't know if you can see that. So it comes in this box here. Um, and what you get is you get an eye palette. You get a lippy, like a liquid lipstick. It's kind of like a, it's not a color for me. I'm going to give this to my daughter. It's a little too dark for me. I, I like to use like earthy tones. This is like too red for me. And then you get this cute little makeup bag, which I really, really like. So all of this... I can't remember what the original price is. I'll put it below. But I think I paid $35 for, oh, and a mascara. You get a little ma mascara, which I can't use because I can only use waterproof. Um, but you got all this in this kit. And I think everything ended up being like, I don't know, like $7 each or something like that. It was like really cheap. And I thought, because I had the coupon, it was on sale. I had free shipping. I'm like, well, that's just, that's just super cheap. So I'll give it a try. So these are, here's the palette again. I'm going to open this up. It's kind of magnetic, which is nice. So this is the palette here. It has this cute little mirror here, which again is nice, but does mean no. Hey, it's Annie. I'm back and ready to party down to the river. Yeah. Okay. No, I haven't been drinking. I'm going to shine today. I live in Illinois and it's winter and the sun is shining. So I'm very Happy. I'm happy. If you know me, you know I'm freaking happy right now. I'm like, where the hell have you been? Well, I it was off on, you know, joint time with my family over Christmas break. Um, we didn't do anything, but I was spending time with them. And I filmed some videos ahead of time. And um, they didn't turn out. They didn't turn out, so I couldn't share them with you. So then I re-recorded them again. My husband took my daughter to see Star Wars. I'm not a Star Wars fan. Sorry, no haters, okay? I just, I'm not a fan. Um, so he took her to see the new Star Wars movie, so I'm like, I'll record some videos. I recorded three of them, and none of them turned out. And I did it the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and none of them turned out again. So I took a break, and then I re-recorded them and had problems. I think it's... Well, first off, I'm trying to learn the lighting and everything in this room with my new camera, trying to figure out it all out. Um, and I needed a new video software. I bought a new one, fingers crossed, that this video is going to be good, okay? Um, I just don't want to put out crappy videos. I was doing that already with my other camera. That's why I bought a new camera. I want to give you better quality when you're watching my videos. So. So I'm working on it, okay guys? So please be patient. My plan is to every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday to have a new video. That's my plan, okay? Um, and that's what I plan on doing, but I just had some technical difficulties. Um, so yeah, so what I wanted to talk about today is what I got for Christmas. I bought three eye palettes that, you know, Santa put under the tree, and I got a new bag. No judging. I'll tell you why I got a new bag. I know you're probably like, girl, you just got two bags. I know, I know, but you'll see why I got this bag and you're gonna like it. Um, so yeah, I got three new eye palettes. So let me review each one for you now. Well, the first palette that I got, I was at Kohl's. Oh darn, I don't have the thing in front of me, that's okay. Um, the first palette that I bought was is from Lorac. Now I've never ever purchased anything from Lorac before. I don't know why, I just haven't. Um, and so I decided to try one of their eye palettes because I've heard so many good things about their eye palettes. So I bought the Lorac Pro 3. Let's see if my camera will focus in on that. And I want you to see the packaging. Okay, so you can see the packaging. You see how light it is. You can see how it's marked up, kind of getting dirty. And I'm going to flip it around that way just so you can see 
um, the back side of it and what the packaging looks like. The reason I'm showing you this is because this is one of the things I don't like about it. I don't like the packaging. It's very light in color and it's getting all dirty looking and ready and I, it's very recent that I bought it. So, but the colors are gorgeous. I love, 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 love the colors. They're so beautiful. I love how, I love colors like this because they're, I call them neutral colors. They're like neutral, not neutral. How about, what I say neutral colors or what I say um, earthy? That's a better word earthy tones. I find them to be more earthy tones. Not all of them. I mean, there's shimmers in it, but there's still the basic part is like, like a brownish color, whatever. The only one that's not really earthy is this uh, purpley color. And please don't judge my nails. I have to polish my nails later, okay? Um, but I love this and obviously, you know, gray and, and black, but I love the, the colors of this palette. I mean, these are colors I love to wear. I don't do any crazy colors anymore. You know, I did that when I was in high school. I'm not in high school anymore, so I don't like to do really crazy colors, but I love these. They're just really, really, really pretty colors. It comes with a mirror, which I'm going to be honest is useless for me because I wear reading glasses to see. So unless I hold the palette far away, I can't really see what I'm doing. Just being real with you. Um, but for most people, I guess that's a bonus. But I just, um, I love the colors. They're very highly pigmented. They blend like butter. Um, I love all like the combination of colors. You can do so many looks with these. I think there's like so one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 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 sixteen colors. <coughs> Let me count. Sixteen. Yes, there's sixteen colors. Um, I'm wearing a lot of colors of this. I'm we're actually wearing colors from every single palette today that I'm going to talk about. So I do have colors that I'm wearing from this today. I'm wearing um, I'm wearing that color, that color that color and that color. So I'm wearing like four colors from here. Love this palette. But like I said, the only thing I don't like is it's very messy. It's very messy. So when you're using these colors, make sure you tap off your brush. And even then, even when you tap off your brush, sometimes you can get some fallout on your you know, face. So sometimes what I do, I'll do my eye makeup first and then I do my foundation, everything. You can do put your makeup on that way that way as well. I can do a look for you too. I'll have to do, I'll do a look like an everyday makeup look because I've been wanting to do that and I'll use this palette but I love, love this look. I mean this look you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Love this palette and it comes with a little um, primer, eye primer. I didn't wear it today but I really do like the primer as well. I'm going to wear it a little bit more and give you my for sure final thought on that. Um, but um, yeah, I love this. I love this palette. I think it's like $43. I don't know. I'll let you know in the I'll let you know in the description or comments or whatever notes below. So the other palette that I got, I was looking